Troubleshooting the D-Stacker This video addresses how to troubleshoot and determine the problem if the D-Stacker is not operating properly. If the D-Stacker is not operating properly, the problem is usually one of three things. The blue light is on, indicating the latches are not in position, or the pallet stack will not stay up, or the pallet stack won't come down. Fault situation number one, latches are not in position. If the blue light is on, it means the latches are not in position. They could still be resting in the bottom pallet, or they have not entered the upper pallet correctly. To solve this problem, bump or quickly lift and lower the bottom pallets with the walkie rider. The latches will usually reset and the blue light will go off. It's possible that a nail or piece of wood prevented one of the latches from pulling out. If the blue light stays on, turn the key switch to hold, which turns on the inside lights, and look through the windows to inspect the position of the latches. There could be a block of wood or stretch wrap preventing the latches from fully entering the pallet. If the blue light stays on again in the next few dispenses, there could be another issue. Look through the four side windows, checking to see that both ends of the four latch springs are attached between the yellow frame and silver latch arms. Fault situation number two, the pallet stack will not stay up. If the pallet stack won't stay up, there are three potential causes. Number one, no power at the machine. If your machine has a battery, the battery power may be low. A. Turn the key switch to hold to confirm the front yellow light comes on. If it doesn't, A. Confirm the battery charger is plugged into the 120 volt wall outlet and the red or green charging light is on. B. Confirm the battery is plugged into the machine inside the battery box at the back. Both plugs should be plugged in. C. Change the battery for a fully charged battery. Or, if your machine has a power supply, it may not be plugged in. Confirm the front yellow light comes on when the key switch is turned to hold. If it doesn't come on, check to see the power supply is plugged in and the LED light on. The second potential cause for the pallet stack not staying up is the travel frame may not be moving. Turn the key switch to hold and confirm the front yellow light comes on. Look through the four side windows to confirm the latches are inside the pallet and touching the underside of the pallet opening. Note the height of the round cam followers and where they are located in reference to the cam profile they are touching. Raise the pallet stack fully up with the walkie rider and confirm the latches follow the pallet upwards. They should remain inside the pallet and against the underside of the top boards. The gap between the bottom pallet to the floor will be 3 to 4 inches. Check to see the latches also rose up 3 to 4 inches. If the latches don't raise by 3 to 4 inches, there could be some binding in the yellow travel frame. Using a walkie rider, perform a two pallet dispense. Watch the yellow counterweight moving through the rear guard inspection holes. In a normal dispense, the counterweight will lower 3 inches. Raise 10 inches and then return back down to align with the yellow stripes. If any of these tests do not operate correctly, remove the pallets, check for debris, and reload with different pallets. Repeat testing, and if the same fault occurs, call for service. The third potential cause for the pallet stack not staying up could be that the solenoid is not working. This is a very unlikely fault. To check the solenoid, turn the key switch to hold. The yellow light should come on. If it does, try raising and lowering the bottom pallet. The stack should stay raised, leaving about a 4 inch gap. If it doesn't stay raised, the solenoid may not be working. You can check this by first looking through the left rear window towards the center of the machine, or by removing the rear top cover plate and to see if the solenoid light is on when the key is turned to hold. If the light is on, the stack should stay raised. If it doesn't stay raised, or the solenoid light doesn't come on, call for service. Fault situation number three, the pallet stack will not come down. There are two possible causes for this fault. First, there may not be enough pallets in the machine. If the do not use sticker is visible, or the empty red light is on, fill with pallets. Second, the photo eyes may be out of alignment. 
To check the 3 PhotoWise alignment, first turn the key switch to hold. The front yellow light should come on. Inspect the 2 PhotoWise at the front of the machine. Looking from outside left of the machine to the floor, the green LED indicates power to the PhotoWise and it is working. The yellow LED indicates it's aligned with the reflector. If only the green LED is on, wipe off the reflector. If the yellow LED doesn't come on, the eye needs to be aligned. Or, you should also see two red light circles on the reflector on the right side being emitted from the photo eye. If the yellow LED light did not come on, see the troubleshooting page in the manual on how to adjust the photo eyes through the front left side window. Check the third photo eye at the back of the machine. You should be able to see a red light circle on the reflector and see the green and yellow LED on the photo eye through the observation hole at the back left of the machine. There are two small photo eyes inside the machine on the left side that are used for turning on the green light. When there is no pallet in front of either of them, the green light will turn on. One can be blocked with a piece of wood or stretch wrap and the green light will still come on if the other eye is clear. These photo eyes are set to dark, energized, and the sensitivity setting is at approximately 11 o'clock.